Ja, hallo, herzlich willkommen bei 1000 Beste von Nasty Nils, mein Name. Wir machen ja heute... Hi, this is 1000 PS and I'm Nasty Nils. We have a monstrous touring enduro comparison up. We won't have real winners, rather buyer's guide, which lets you conclude which bike fits you the most. Kaufempfehlungen für dich. Welches ist die Maschine für deinen Anforderungszweck? Getestet haben wir die Maschinen hier. The comparison took place on the Wachau Ring, which is a compact yet nearly perfect testing area, because the tarmac is the same as on the country roads and you have racetrack on typical passages like blind corners. Dieser glattgebügelte Rennstreckenasphalt ist, sondern ganz normaler Straßenasphalt. Dann hat man auch für Rennstrecken untypische Passagen, enge Wechselkurven, auch bergauf. Sehr enge Kurven, blinde Kurven, also im Prinzip eine Alpentour hier kompakt zusammengestellt, hier mitten in der Wachau. Uh, wir sind im Now, sit down and get a grip. This is what we tested. Was auf euch zukommt. Mit dabei BMW S1000XR, the 160 BHP Rocket, KTM 1290 Super Adventure, the Deluxe Adventure, Yamaha MT09 or FC09 Tracer, sold like free beer. MV Agusta Turismo Veloce, Dream Bike, Ducati Multistrada, 1200S, High Tech Rocket, Honda Cross Runner, V4 Engine, Yamaha Super Tiniri, the most underestimated bike here, BMW R1200 GS, Record Winner, Reigning Champ. Tausende Testberichte schon gewonnen, auch sie muss sich hier beweisen und schauen, was, zeigen, was sie kann. Kawasaki vs. 1000, Suzuki V-Strom 1000, the two Japanese underdogs. Triumph Tiger 800 XRX, my personal favorite, which I also own myself. Aprilia Capo Nord, as Reliant Travel Bag. Small differences in equipment, but two different bikes. Eine Unterschiede am Fahrzeug, ganz Unterschiedliche Motoren eigentlich haben mir gut gefallen. Honda Cross Tourer. Honda Cross Tourer. V4 DCT Engine. Now, let's look at the details. Bei dem Test für euch ermittelt haben. The World Traveler. Ja, für die Weltreise muss man sagen. For a trip around the world. The features which make the bike stand out on the track aren't so important, but you can get a feel for it. For my trip, third place would be the R1200 GS. It's universally talented. The engine and bike have proven themselves. It's easy to ride and good for any situations. To me, its weaknesses are the tremendous electronics and the quite exposed cylinders. Both could cause problems in a crash. Sehr, sehr vollgestopft mit Hightech auf der einen Seite, auf der anderen Seite die Boxer, Zylinder natürlich etwas exponiert, im Sturzfall ein bisschen hagelig. Ähm, das ist vielleicht die einzige Schwäche von dem, von dem Fahrzeug. Ansonsten für mich eines der Top 3 Geräte für die große Weltreise. Auf Platz 2 in dieser Runde, die wir jetzt haben, äh, die KTM 1290 Super Adventure. Second place KTM 1290 Super Adventure. If there is much off-roading, the 1190 Adventure. The Super Adventure is a fully equipped motorcycle, which appears quite big, but still like a true enduro. She is very sporty and well built, tough frame, engine and chassis, which can take a crash. Hat einen sehr robusten Rahmen, sehr robuste Schwinge, sehr robuste äh, Anbauteile auch, also auch ein Motorrad, das man nach, einer, äh, nach einem Sturz im Aufstand einfach weiterfährt. Ähm, für mich eines der Top-Geräte, wenn ich eine richtig harte Weltreise machen will. Auf Platz 1. First place, now please don't slap me, is a quite unspectacular bike, but it's also the easiest to handle and creates the least fatigue on you. Vermutlich unzerstört. A nearly un indestructible engine, multi-purpose strange and perfect power output. It's a 1200 Super Tineri. It never sold like hotcakes, but it's very mature and reliable. It has a cardinal drive shaft and is tough as nails, takes crashes like a tank takes pistol bullets. My favorite world traveler. In the curve, he smashed, there breaks nothing up, there falls nothing under. The Panzer under the big enduro, the unverwüstliche, for me, the truest begleiter for the world race by this big test here. The hairpin chunky. The classic Alpentour. The classic Alpine tour. 
It took me quite a while to decide, but third place is the Kapunod Rally, not the travel bag, because it's the better Kapunod. It has spoke wheels, but feels nevertheless sturdy and precise like a naked bike here on the track. She's only third, but still better than 12 other bikes. It lacks a little power for a sporty ride, therefore only bronze medal. Also, hat aber dann schon elf oder zwölf Motorräder hinter sich gelassen, also Kritik auf hohem Niveau. Aber im Vergleich zu den Top 2 Motorrädern vorne, ein bisschen fehlt es dann bei der Leistung, wenn man es wie ich halt dann eilig hat in den Besten. Aber in den Top 3 mit dabei für mich die Aprilia Capo Nord Rally, wenn es darum geht, das beste Motorrad für den Alpenpass zu suchen. An der Spitze hat das Duell dann doch auf Platz 2 verwiesen. Die Rough Battle for the Gold Medal. The Super Adventure lost. A stated great bike, especially the electronic package. Bei den Alpentouren toll ist, ist, dass dieses Motorrad von der elektronischen Seite her so komplex ausgestattet ist mit dem Fahrwerk. Die Engine ist actually overpowered for Alpine roads, but still easy to ride. This year's model is almost sold out. Also ein ganz tolles Reisemotorrad uh, ist jetzt auch kein Geheimtipp, kein großes Geheimnis, dass das so grandios fährt. Im Prinzip heuer so gut wie ausverkauft, uh, hat eingeschlagen wie eine Bombe, also erzähle ich euch nichts Neues. Ja, und ich weiß, But she was beaten by a bike that makes nearly 50% of all the bikes parked at any mountain road, the BMW R1200 GS. We might repeat ourselves, but she is and will be the queen of the Alps. The only real challenges are other R1200 models, like the R1200R. But hairpin corner exits, nothing comes close to the boxer engine. It's the exactest bike and the low range torque is perfect. The water cooled flat too isn't exactly the newest, but much more cultivated and modern than in the past, so smooth and powerful. Wassergas, viel kultivierter, auch für Leute, die BMW früher nicht mochten. Tolle Lösung aus den Kurven raus, super geschmeidig, zieht es aus den Kehren. I can't imagine a bike that climbs up a mountain road like the Stelvio and then go on for another 300 miles so fast yet comfortable as the GS, the best choice in the Alps. Hier für die Alpentouren die beste Wahl, muss man so sagen. The Daily User. Jetzt fährt nicht jeder auf Welt. Of course, there are those who don't travel the world or even the Alps. So let's take a look at bikes you can ride to college or work. Basically, we have three bikes that are very close. Drei Motorräder, sehr eng beisammen, sehr dicht beisammen. Da würde ich sagen, I'd say the engine concepts you prefer decides. Me, I put the V-Strom in third. Easy to ride, yet very fast. Price performance is outstanding. In reality, whenever you get off it, you wonder why all the other bikes have so much extras and higher prices. In Wahrheit, wenn man von so einem Motorrad der V-Strom runtersteigt, fragt man sich immer, wieso bei den anderen Motorrädern so viel mehr drauf ist, auch am Preiszettel. Deswegen für mich bei den Top 3 Bikes für Daily Usage die V-Strom von Suzuki. Skyrocketed in the sales as well as in this comparison on daily usage is the FC or MT09 Tracer. It's a bike you immediately feel well on it. MT09 Tracer von Yamaha. A motor, wo man draufsteigt, wo man sich sofort wohlfühlt, sehr einfach fährt, schnell fährt. It's fast, light, handy yet comfortable. It's so good, you get the feeling Yamaha actually invented the MT-09 concept to build this touring version. Of the entire range, the Trace is the best version and also the most logic. It's only slightly modified at the front, but it is a full touring enduro. Great bike. Nur ein Dank von drauf, also quasi die, die, die vordere Einheit wirkt ein bisschen anders. Trotzdem eine vollwertige Reise, Enduro, relativ günstig, flink, modern, cool, tolles Motorrad. The Newbie. Uh, welches von diesen ganzen Which bike is for the Newbie? Basically, in the cheap and low power bike range, there are many options. There's the Honda CB500X, the Suzuki V-Strom 650 and Kawasaki Versus 650. But that's about it. 650 ziemlich alleine, aber in dieser in diesem Mittelklasse Bereich I focused on two bikes of the medium bike class. 
a close de decision between V-Strom and Tiger 800. The Triumph is slightly weaker, but has the same easy handling. Our special tip is the NC750X. Super easy to ride, comfy, riding position, nice optics. Of course it's a lame bike for a GS rider. Not powerful and fast enough, not expensive enough. But I recommended it some friends and they're all happy. Toller Zugang in das Thema Reise Enduro habe ich schon privat auch einigen Freunden empfohlen. Die sind alle happy damit. The non-stop wheelie guy. Gibt es doch viele, viele junge Leute, die immer wieder super. Now, a lot of guys demand supermoto action from us. A lot of the young fellows also search the market for supermotos, but after a while, they recognize the bikes lack long touring abilities. So far, you guys who like to ride cool, fast and radical, but like to have some comfort, I got three bikes. Funken Fahrkomfort haben wollen, habe ich drei Motorrad Tipps für euch auf Lager. Sein ist mal die Honda Crossrunner. First, we have the Crossrunner. It's almost a sports tourer. Has a sporty V4 engine and surprises. Untypically for Honda, the sound in higher revs is very pity. High quality frame and components. It's very agile, but you sit a bit lesser active than on the top two bikes. My tip for X Supermoto races is the MT09 Tracer. Like I said, top bike, and I really was staggered. Das und wird vor allem solchen Leuten gut gefallen, aber die wirkliche Überraschung für mich heute. But a real surprise for me was the MV Augusta Turismo Veloce. Richtig schnelles Motorrad, haben mich selbst auch gebettelt draußen mit einem Testpiloten hier, der die gefahren ist. Bin sie selbst gefahren. You sit very front wheel oriented on it. Very agile and handy. Very emotional, endless power. It feels just as powerful as the S1000 XR with 160 horsepower, although she only has 800 cc and doesn't use its full potential here. Stunningly beautiful, and what I personally checked, it's nothing exotic anymore, just a normal motorcycle. It seats, seems AMG delivered the necessary finances. Absolute recommendation for cool guys. Augusta, the Einstieg von AMG hat scheinbar die nötige Kohle reingebracht. Top Empfehlung für die coolen Jungs, die cool und komfortabel unterwegs sein wollen. The fourth Rattle Biker. Da kommen wir jetzt zur imageträchtigsten Wertung, zu den Andrücken. The most prestigious category. Which are the fastest touring motorcycles at the track and home? It was quite difficult to determine the winners. Ganz leicht für mich das rauszufinden, aber ich sag so... Um, Top 4. The Turismo Veloce and the Versus have a close fight for the fourth spot. Vierten Platz. Die, die M Gust haben überrascht, dass mit dem 800 Aggregat so schnell vorne mitgefahren ist. Für mich auf Platz 3 die Ducati Multistrada. Third place is the Ducati Multistrada. High-tech machine with a mighty engine. Super smooth output due to the DVT. Great riding modes. Grandiose Fahrassistenzsysteme. Gibt nur zwei Motorräder, die schneller fahren. And there are only two faster bikes. Second spot is a surprising bike because the first impression is quite heavy, clumsy and unsporty. The KTM 1290 Super Adventure. But the monster's engine makes it very, very fast. As well as the superb riding assistances and traction control system. Systemen, ABS und Traktionskontrolle bieten hier einfach eine Performance, dass man die Leistung auch richtig umsetzen kann. Still, pole position is quite clearly the S1000XR. It's actually a race bike. If you set it into the dynamic pro mode, she's so stable in corners like a super bike. This astounded me. She was a step ahead in handling. But she also feels the least like a touring bike. Eine Etage über allen anderen Enduros hier am Markt. Um, sie ist auch aber, muss man sagen, auf der anderen Seite. Many subscribers always say it's an unfair comparison, but I'm pragmatic. She delivers the co same comfort as a touring bike, but is as fast as a superbike. If you like it, buy it. The multi -talent.
irgendwie das gesamte Somehow, overall rankings are difficult. But if I had to recommend a bike to my friend without knowing what he's up to, I have three bikes that are surprisingly quite dissimilar, yet still are multi-talented. Die überraschenderweise sehr unterschiedlich sind, aber doch alle drei dieses diesen Universaltalentanspruch toll erfüllen. The Tracer is number three. For its price tag, it has so much to offer. Silver goes to the Kawasaki versus 1000. Always underestimated, it's a very good bike. Its biggest flaw in the past were its looks, not anymore. Hat, glaube ich, nur eine Schwäche gehabt früher, das war diese Optik. Jetzt spricht nichts mehr gegen dieses Motorrad. Universell einsetzbar, macht man nichts falsch mit ihr. You can't go wrong with her. She's quite cheap as well. But our number one is a bike which fits anywhere and any time. BMW GS. She has one shortcoming, and that's her immense price tag once she is fully equipped. If you have the money, take it. Who hasn't, takes the other two. They are a little lesser Enduros, but create lots of fun. A little weniger Enduro, macht aber unglaublich viel Spaß im Alltag und auf der Tour. The surprise. Actually, we're finished now, but there were a few surprises for me at the Guajarin. Surprise number one was how fast and cool the MV Agusta Turismo Veloce is. In the past, I thought MV Agusta was exotic. I've ridden the 675 range and their engine management was a disaster. This is now fixed and the bike is super emotional, super performing, works like a Japanese but just with a lot more drama. What also surprised me was the comfort of the Aprilias. I didn't want to get off of the bikes. Super agile as well. Actually, Italians stand for flair and looks. But these two were very practical. Stehen die die Italiener immer für das ganze Thema Design und 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 Flair, aber im praktischen Nutzen beim Fahrkomfort für mich die Aprilia ganz große Überraschung. The Honda guys are always called a little boring. But the first time I've opened the cross runner's throttle, I thought, oh my god, this bike screams. High range, this engine is really aggressive. I really like what Honda produced here. Vier Motor oben raus, legt er richtig heiser aus. Hat mir gut gefallen, hat mir taugt, dass die Honda Leute da so ein geiles Aggregat hinstellen. I already knew the S1000XR is a performance bike, but just how close it comes to a superbike on the track is staggering. Another surprise were two bikes who are quite the underdogs, but really got into our heads here. Um, this, on one hand, is the Super Tiniri. She doesn't have astonishing specs, but creates tremendous fun. On the other hand, the Versus, which isn't the most powerful or fastest bike as well, but a great bike in general. The last surprise was the Wachering in the heart of Austria itself. We're doing our 1000 PS grip party March 2016 here for sure. Two days long, so there are more spots for riders. One last mission for me. All this talking. Everybody who's still awake, please give me a radical assessment of the video. Hit like or dislike, whatever you think, and subscribe. If you're horny for a touring bike now and want to sell your old bike, place it in our market. We want it. Thank <music> you.